and so the field will not rotate. As the cycle of the AC wave changes, the poles pulsate alternately. But since there is no relative motion, the rotor will not turn. The major problem is getting it started. If the rotor is started by hand, relative motion is created and the motor will continue to run. But this is not a very practical method. There are several ways to start a single phase induction motor. One method is the use of shaded poles in the field. A shaded pole is attained by placing a copper ring in a slot over half the pole. The copper ring on the shaded half of the pole increases the inductance of that half. That causes the magnetic field of the shaded half of the pole face to lag behind that of the unshaded portion, creating a rotational effect. Lines of force will emerge from this unshaded section of the pole face first. The inductance caused by the ring makes the shaded portion of the pole lag behind. This alternating pulsating action creates a phase difference within the pole. Let us see now how the use of shaded poles actually produce a torque or turning force in a single phase induction motor. The single phase AC energizes the unshaded portions of the poles first and creates magnetic fields in these areas. The phase difference caused by the higher inductance of the shaded sections is responsible for the lag in the development of magnetic fields in them. As the current cycle changes, the same action will take place in all the poles. Relative motion, the basic requirement of an induction motor, has been satisfied. The rotor turns.